Good afternoon, Gabby. Thanks very much. And welcome everyone to Loftus Road, where a guard of honour for the Leeds United players will stand and wait for the confirmed champions of the Empower Football League. There has been an astonishing sea change in the life of Queen's Park Rangers over the last hour. The FA statement, there will be no points deductions swept around the ground. Amongst the crowd who'd arrived, confused, angry, concerned, there were high fives in the dressing room area. The championship trophy seemed to shine with extra luster. The best team in the championship this season have their reward. Leeds manager Simon Grayson, who previously expressed his sympathy for Rangers' perplexed plight over the last 48 hours, has arranged that guard of honour. Queen's Park Rangers are back in the Premier League after 15 years. No doubt debate among other supporters will continue and the FA decision will be closely scrutinised over that man, Alejandro Forlin and his signing. But the party does go ahead in this famously tight, atmospheric and fervent ground. The hangover malaise that was clinging to that very FA decision has been washed away by the triumphant noise. But of course there is a game to play, because Leeds haven't simply come here to act as waiters at a West London civic reception where the silverware will be handed out. Let's have a look at the teams then. Queen's Park Rangers make two changes from the team that clinched the title on the field at Watford last week. Defendable veteran left back Clint Hill has recovered from his ankle injury sufficiently to play on this celebration day, though he may need a summer operation to cure the problem. His return means Connolly can again shuffle back to centre half with Shitu dropping to the bench. And Akos Pushaki on his 29th birthday makes his first start since February. Preferred to the Championship Player of the Season, Adel Terapt, who's only among the subs. The Supporters Player of the Year, keeper Paddy Kenny, misses only his second game of the season with a shoulder. 19 year old Latvian Elvis Putnins is the sub keeper. Fall in over whom there has been so much brouhaha will dictate the midfield tempo. Leeds unbeaten here since November 94 and needing the win to keep alive, those fake playoff hopes make one change. Northern Ireland fullback George McCartney, who complained of weariness in the week and was then reportedly heavily criticised by chairman Ken Bates, plays no part. Lee High on loan from Aston Villa switches from right to left back. And Paul Connolly, a regular for most of this season, returns. Top scorer Luciano Becchio is out again after minor surgery on a hamstring injury. He'll be fit well in time for the new season, which for Queen's Park Rangers fans can't come soon enough. There are smiles now, and there, up in the Queen's Park Rangers director's box, we've got a party of men, Gianni Palladini, the chairman, Lakshmi Mittal, who will be here today, I'm told, the Indian steel magnet who doesn't come that often, no sign of Bernie Ecclestone, other business for him. There has been so much talk, Martin, of Alejandro falling, would they get points deducted? You've been in the game so long, have you experienced anything quite like this in a build-up to a single 90 minutes of action? No, we were here very early this morning with the Focus show, and you know there was this feeling of uh, people didn't really know whether to celebrate or not, and then all of a sudden the news came through, the volume went up in this stadium, and rightly so, I mean, it's a proud day for this club to get back into the Premiership, all the emotion that goes in, we really could sense that ourselves down on the pitch side, and I'm sure today this will just be a great occasion for them. You know, it's brilliant, I've done it myself as a player, and I look back and those memories will stay with you forever, and the game, to play the game, knowing you're up, it's a great moment for them. Mark Klattenberg is the referee, Neil Warnock, who sent his young boy William out, his mascot ahead of Queen's Park Rangers, has taken Scarborough into the league, twice he was promoted as Notts County manager, Huddersfield manager, Plymouth manager, Sheffield United manager, he took them all up. And now he's taken Queen's Park Rangers up, and he told me last night this will be the greatest day of his football career if the decision goes Queen's Park Rangers away. It has, will the game go their way? Leeds all in yellow, kicking from left to right, get us off and underway. 
And it's Bradley Orr who cleared out. Here's Routledge, one of the players who's on loan from Newcastle. Sean Derry, once of Leeds. He talked about what a great honour it was and a privilege to play for Leeds. Here's Bushaki in for Tarats and into Tommy Smith and Queen's Park Rangers have the lead. Helderson, who was in the opening 30 seconds of play. What a day for Queen's Park Rangers. What a celebration day. Well, you're looking at Smeichel there, just powering it into his path. Great build-up from, from... It looks so easy for them. It's a great ball into the middle. It's a shot that really the keeper should be saving. And you're wondering there, is he offside? But you listen, he's going to put it away. I mean, Smeichel expect much better from there. It really is QPR's day. The goalkeeper could only parry it back. He had a little check to see if he was onside. The flag stayed down and Helgerson and there's Tommy Smith in there as well and Busaki, who made the run, all celebrating. It's been some hour and a half for Queen's Park Rangers and desolation for Kasper Schmeichel. Well, I mean, it was lovely football from QPR. All credit to them. You know, it, it really is a party atmosphere now. It's astonishing stuff. It's been a good season for Ida Helgerson, apart from one little injury period in the autumn. Can Leeds respond? They've got it all to do now. And that was very nearly deflected back in. His 13th goal of the season. He's on 99 in English league football. Well, a lot of talk about Tarat, but this fella, don't underestimate the movement he's made for Tarat this season. He's been outstanding and he's played his part as well. Having a chat there with Tommy Smith, who scored the second goal at Watford last week that clinched the title on the field. His shot parried, Helgerson on hat. Well, I think so early in the game that Schmeichel really isn't ready for it. And they just cashed in. It's a, it's a desperate mistake from the keeper. In towards Busaki, preferred today to Tarak, who's had a wearying season. All in was clipped. lost five games this season, Queen's Park Rangers. Only Newcastle and Reading, as champions of this division, have lost fewer games over the last ten years. Leeds at the moment, finding it difficult to get out of their own half. They'll have an opportunity now with this free kick. The foot was high there a little bit, the decision from the referee. Connery will take it. Missed eight weeks with a hamstring injury, lost his place, and then uh, Lehigh arrived on loan from Aston Villa. He's back in the side today, Connery. Ball in. For all his place in the wrong sort of headlines, fall in over the last few days. He's had a terrific season. Bradley Johnson with a promising run for Leeds. Derry very rarely leaves that little patrol area he has in front of his back four. He's been doing that job for oh, Sean Derry about 150 years, Martin. He always <laughs> seems to have been there, doesn't he? And for many teams as well, and you, you can't underestimate the, the value of a player like that. as well, Neil Warnock. You know, you either love him or you hate him. People say he's like Marmite, but, you know, you've got to give him credit. He's almost the, the Mourinho of the low league football, the number of premiership the promotions that he's had. And he'll enjoy his time in the premiership next season. Farley. Touch back by Helgerson. Busaki. Routledge is at the far post, and there to put pressure on Eric Lehigh, who reacted well. Ball in again. Here's 
the little playmaker in that midfield. He was certainly kicked there by Johnson, who in recent weeks has picked up too many cards, seven yellow and one red in his last 14. Well, let's talk about what he does on the pitch, and, he, you know, he's certainly a live wire in that midfield. You know, he's been outstanding as well, and I'm sure he was a relieved man earlier this afternoon when that decision came through. Been impressed with Johnson in the last half of the season. He was transfer listed in November. Contract runs out shortly. There's Kilkenny, competitive midfield player. And the free kick launched in by Fallin. May have been going for goal, but acknowledges it was his error. Yeah, just too much on that one. You really need to be putting them in with pace. Just sails out wide. Is down to Gradle. He's had a good season, Gradle from midfield, waiting with 17 goals from there. He started off sluggishly in the opening week, scored the goals that won the game for Simon Grayson's Queen's Park Rangers up at Ellen Road earlier in the season. Yeah, I think he's a player that looks better to me, Gradle, when he plays more centrally, when he kind of links up with those front players. He's very dangerous. Leeds went into the game knowing they had to win, Forrest had to lose at uh, Crystal Palace and there needed to be a six-goal swing. Here's Ork. Connolly's underneath that, the man Martin knows well from his days. Connolly was a young Arsenal boy. I'm really pleased for him because you know, Matthew didn't quite get, get into the Arsenal first team, you know, and to come back and to do this for QPR. Lost his place for a little while, lost his confidence, but he looks an excellent centre-half for QPR now, and he'll get that experience, of course, next season, which he so much deserves of playing in the Premiership. Ferguson, comes up, up shortly into Hill, battling on through pain. What a steady season he's had, Clint Hill. Here's Derek. with Neil Warnock, he played under Warnock previously. Into Helgerson, if it goes to fall in. There's something if he scores today after all the news, Smith crosses into the middle, that's a good header away by Luhan. Very back in again and a glancing header this time by Helgerson, easy for the goalkeeper. So many options for QPR when they're attacking. You know, you can see they're putting a display on for the fans here. Now, this is a ball in from Derry. You know, look at the space he's got in the middle of the box there. I mean, Leeds really know got to get tighter to this QPR team because they're just passing it at will. Routledge nearly caught in possession. Johnson went hard into the challenge. He's a competitive player. Big game in Scotland today. Rangers lead Hearts by a goal to nil. That'll open up a four point lead on Celtic, the whole thing swung with Celtic's defeat at uh, Inverness Calic. And Queen's Park Rangers in London lead, leads by a goal to nil. And the delighted Queen's Park Rangers director's box. Big global sport, power brokers, Bernie Eccleston of Formula One, involved Fabio Beatore as well, there's fall in with a shot. Better goalkeeping this time from Casper Smarker. It is, but he's got no right to get that shot in from there. He just turns very quickly, and in the end, it tests the keeper, and you can't give him that sort of space. He's in there again, sniffing away, falling if anything comes loose. Radle will run it clear for Leeds United. Whether or not Leeds make the playoffs this season, that seems very unlikely now. It's still been a tremendous step forward for them this season in their development and their resurgent form as a football league club. Simon Grayson bought them up last season and all the teams promoted to the championship have done well. Norwich shut through, Millwall held their own. More than held their own. You feel though there's more pressure on Leeds, isn't there, to go straight away through. Well, credit, of course, to Norwich, 
Not many mentions of them today, but they've done exceptionally well themselves. I wonder if they were half hoping they get the title, or were they thinking, well, that would be by default and not really bears by right. It's Queen's Park Rangers. And they lead 1 0. Hill beyond Gradle. And slumped forward. No free kick given. And here's Gradle. Oh, the hill went forward and flung himself forward. The referee might want a word. Here's Gradle under his left foot, blocked by Gork. So he thought it might have been handball. Johnson couldn't get the better. And Ratledge will bring it away again. QPR, they say, want him on a permanent basis. From Newcastle United. Here's Hill up towards the strong running Helgerson. And Brian was there with him. Or to Derek, Ratledge in space. Headed away by Andy O'Brien, he's done well for Leeds since arriving. Initially on low. Hanson, excellent for Howes and good challenge by Derek. No nonsense player, Sean Derek. Spot Rangers 1, Leeds 0, Rangers 2, Hearts 0. Kyle Lafferty got the second for Rangers. Difficult for Leeds here now, though they do have a good record on this ground, unbeaten in eight games against Queen's Park Rangers, home and away, and they are the championship top scorers. They've only won one of their last six games in the league. League Two Football of the Year with Notts County before leaving for Leeds. QPR looked along the line, they thought that uh, Billy Painter was offside. Let's just have a look at that Leeds tentative penalty appeal again. They thought the Gradle shot might have struck an arm. Well, he certainly put it, I mean, his arm's tucked in, but he's lent his body into it. The referee's got a perfect view of that. Might just well have got away with it, but at full speed, he's hit it so fast. I think maybe it's deceived the referee. And would you, as a centre defender in your time, have thought, wow, I got away with that one? Well, I feel you at the shoulder, you always feel that that's all the part of the body rather than the extended arm. So maybe I'm going to air with the defender there. That was a surprise. <laughs> so keep a look for Outwich. as if he's going to get another crack at Premier League football if he stays at Queen's Park Rangers round. It's never, he's never shone at that level. No, but he's scored important goals for them. And he's, you know, that supplier crosses, which Warnock enjoys, you know, plays with lots of width in his teams. And he works hard for the team also, so been an excellent acquisition, albeit by loan. Well one back by Housen. Chased all the way by Badly Orr. And here's Hill. Smith he's broken between the lines of Leeds defence in midfield Trusaki's in the middle Helgerson's at the far post and it's not really a way to pull points by Housen now Gradle can bring it out now by Hill I think there's no doubt there that Hill has taken Gradle out just body checked him Derek. Bowling. Smith. In towards Busaka. That's a lovely touch. Given the Tarak roll, and he's reveling in it. You see the imagination, though, can't you, in this team? 
you know, their formation is very nice with Derry, of course, sitting in front of the defence, but it gives them that freedom to go and play and express themselves. And you can see that they're, they're, they're a class apart in this division. It'll be interesting to see in the Premiership how they, how they get on, whether they'll buy other players, I'm sure they will, but they've already had the basis of a decent side here. Naylor towards Painter. Former, who scored last week, his first goal for the club. Radel, not too easy for the keeper. Oh, in the end, though, he had to backtrack. It must have floated on a little bit, and only his second appearance of the season, Shirley made short. Well, it almost gets trapped, doesn't it, between his arm and the, and the crossbar. You know, the keeper, you never take any chances with these. And I think he's a little bit lucky there. He just managed to, he dealt with it where, well enough. Give him a bit of an early fright. In comes the corner kick, and Derry just have got a vital, vital touch on that. Because Leeds players were pouring in behind him. Randall will take the throw in. Seems muttering around the ground here before kick-off in Owl. Earlier on, a QPR word got points, would they be got five, would they be got dot ten, would they go behind Cardiff, what if they won and Cardiff lost today? Here comes a cross meanwhile by Painter. Conspiracy theorists were having a, a field day, it's all settled down now, and here's Johnson, and this is a good run, he's gone inside, he looks for Cradle, and it's swept away by the goal scorer, Helgerson. Did that like a good old-fashioned centre-half, didn't he? No nonsense, cleared the danger. That's what he's back there for. Well, Cardiff today are playing Burnley. And Burnley lead by a goal to nil. Rodriguez, I think it was, who got the goal there. No score at Swansea. Palace against Forest. No goals. So Leeds technically in a position where they might still make the playoffs. Play well last week. McCormack waited so long for his first goal for the club. Signed from Cardiff, started the he, uh, season. Towards Helgerson. Out of the way by Richard Naylor. Starting the last three games after five months out with a, a knee injury. Smith battling on, came in off Connolly, falling, switches play, looking for all to get forward, and that's a good touch. Derry. Zaki's played well. Out by Naylor. Hill down to fall in. You just seem to hear Arsene Wenger praising Queen's Park Rangers Martin for their star this season, the way they've knocked the ball about at times. I'll come to you on that in a moment. Here's McCormack. Kilkenny gets it back again. An Australian international who's uh, still not far from Queen's Park Rangers. Johnson looking for Painter. A bit of bumping and barging there. Yeah, Arsene Wenger, your old boss, has uh, been pulled him in his place, apparently. Well, I can see why, because they make it so simple. And I, I know that they've got the calibre of player and the quality players, but, you know, particularly Fallen has caught my eye today. He seems to have time and space, like all good players do. You know, and Neil Warnock, the manager there, is giving them all simple jobs to do. And that's what it is. Again, the football's a simple game, clear direction for the players. And they really are showing their quality today. It's a stroll in the park for them. And he certainly has something as a manager with his ability to take teams up. Half time, Rangers three, Hearts nil. Will it be Walter Smith's title just before his retirement? And Nottingham Forest 1 0 up at Crystal Palace. McGugan with the goal and Leeds playoff hopes fast disappearing. I'm not too sure. Looking at them before the game kicked off, Martin, whether they were 
ever really convinced it was going to be their day leads. No, I know that Simon Grayson had talked up the chance that they'll keep going to the last, but I think you, there was a resignation from the players today that they didn't quite make it. You know, they haven't been able to do that back-to-back uh, -back promotion, so you know, I'm sure they'll come back next season having learned from this experience. Quite a step up into the championship, but I feel that they just need to get slightly better players. If you look at QPR, you'll be interested now. Lots of managers will be wondering, you know, who are they going to retain for next season, QPR? Will they dip in and spend money? It's, it's going to be down to that very wealthy board that they have. And Fall in seems to be out to prove to people today that he can certainly play the game as well as of the headlines. He wants the ball, always a healthy sign, uses it to Pusaki. On that QPR board, Lakshmi Mittal, they say it's worth £23.8 billion. Pounds. Bernie Eccles around about £1.5 billion. Briatori, £150 million. Pounds. So he's sold a fair amount of his shares to Bernie Eccleston. And the chairman, uh, Palladini, was very vocal down in the dressing room area before a ball was kicked after that decision. He was very defiant, wasn't he? And this is certainly his club now. He was punching the air and shouting, we did it, we did it, we've done it. They may be very wealthy men, but they're also very competitive men. And we'll see next year how much of that cash they want to put on the table for, for Neil Warnock. Well, they didn't come here for a jolly, did they? They had plans. House at battling. Hill committed. Out by Naylor. On by Painter. Well, that leads Miss uh, Luciano Becchio, the Argentine. Derry at full stretch. And now all. Fall in. And Smith. A shout at Premier League football. Should he stay next season? Bites at top flight football with uh, Watford and Sunderland and Derby and Portsmouth. Surely a push there by Orr. He certainly sent Ross McCormack flying. Great. His ability to run men. 1 0 Warnock is the song. Cradle is the man on the ball. Goal kick. <laughs> He's certainly enjoying himself, isn't he? Keith Curl as well, a word for him. You know, big partner for him. Plays his, plays his part in the background. I'm sure it's one of, you know, just keeping the boys calm. He's a wealth of experience himself. I'm sure he'll enjoy it this evening. He was a left winger when I first saw Keith play, schoolboy football. It was Terry Cooper who turned him into a left back, and then, of course, England centre back in his time. There's Paddy Kenny. Lovely touch that he was the supporters and the players' player of the year here. And he kept a club record 24 clean sheets. And they've had some good goalkeepers here over the years. Yes. Remember Phil Parch is here, and there's Keith Curl. It was lovely to see Paddy Kenny here with his son enjoying the game. The news came through and you saw the uh, elation of the players who were really sort of all around us whilst we were doing the show, trying to find out bits of information. They just didn't know what was happening. Lehigh withstood some pressure there. Johnson. Including Leeds next season. Michael away. What struck me about the players when we gave them the news in the tunnel area is that several of them were still disbelieving. They, where did you get the information from? We want it definitely confirmed. Who told you that? So many whispers had gone about. It was, uh, well, you would do. I mean, the paranoia starts to creep in. You, you'd have celebrated last weekend and then all the seen the papers through the week and you just can't believe it's true. And, I just think it's great for them to come out today knowing they're up and they can just enjoy the occasion. You can see it in their play, they're just they're full of confidence. It really is quite easy for them. Now towards Routledge. Derry with the header. That's in again. Gorks. Steady old 
season has Hawks, the big centre back from Latvia. Very much part of their current uh, European Championship qualifying team, Hawks. We're going up, up, up. A long time since Queen's Park Rangers fans had real celebrations. And the Stan Bowles is here today, uh, a throwback to Queen's Park Rangers vintage years. Nearly won the league title, top flight title, when uh, Frank McClintock was here in the autumn days of his career, David Webb and players like that. And they had a terrific team, you know, Jerry Francis and Thomas on one wing. They got very close, didn't they, to beating Liverpool one year. It's a shot from McCormack. I just hope they don't bring the plastic pitch back again. Eh? Still got the, uh, the wounds on my knees after the playing here many years ago. It has to be said, Martin, that there are strikers everywhere in the world still bearing the wounds <laughs> of you playing against them. I was the only idiot that was actually making tackles. So. And Sean Derrick. And Hill towards Tommy Smith. Seems to have a new lease of life here, Tommy Smith. He was, well, he was in the doldrums at Portsmouth, it goes without saying. That was a team heading down, keep your head team heading up. Right. Yes, at Derby as well, I believe. So. He'll enjoy himself next season, and there's a freedom about this team. Derry gives you that, he sits in front of the defence. And then they have that movement, you know, one off the front, two wide, and one down the middle. So it's a good shape for him, and he, there's no restrictions on him. Augustin took a tumble. Naylor got a whack for his troubles. Just wonder, though, I know it's churlish to talk about negative things on such a point there for Queen's Park Rangers. There are players in this Rangers team who have been at the top level and not really done it at that level before, who are here at the moment. One or two who are in their 30s as well. Will they be given the big chance? Derry trying to get back at Johnson. Gorks is there. And it's come through there to Painter. And he went down and no free kick given. I he went over the leg down of Connolly who had the referee given the free kick would have had to go. Well, I think the referee there has misread that because Connolly, he's got caught napping. And for me there, look, he catches him and he's through on goal. So, you know, maybe he should be looking at maybe a, a yellow or at least, a, at least a yellow, maybe a red, and he's through on goal. So that's a poor decision from the referee. Mark Vandenberg immediately swept away the appeals. They're getting all the decisions today, aren't they, QPR? A ripple of applause, you can see fans standing and looking down the line because they're looking at that man, Adil Tarapt, the Moroccan Championship Player of the Year. 19 goals, a flair player. He's been given a free roll, completely free by Neil Warnock, and he's enjoyed it thoroughly, very much the hero for so many QPR fans. Smith edged it back, in comes your cross, Ratledge, who switched flanks, Helgerson. On that, on that run through the middle, does, does Connolly just withdraw his foot at the last moment? I think he tries to let it run across his body. I mean, I, no, he's definitely caught him. And I think maybe he's trying to control it with his right, he should have taken it with his left. He's presented it to the striker, he's had to make a challenge, and he's caught him. It's a, very definitely a bad decision. Only got away with it. Rises with Painter again, or other Gorks did. And here's Routledge, who has gone quickly into the gap and gets a shot away. And Schmeichel's only parried out to Helgerson again, but he couldn't make it count this time. Wow, well, great little effort, isn't it, from Routledge coming inside. You know, it sits up nicely for him. Again, the keeper puts it into Helgerson's path. This time he gets lucky. Good power on that shot. Dipping, moving in the air. See how much he wants to win, doesn't he, Neil Warnock? Not enough just to get promoted, he wants to win this one. Queen's Park Rangers have a free kick. 
Dushaki will take it. Half an hour played. Walks has gone up from the back. So too is Bradley Orn. No one seems to have picked him up yet. If Anderson makes a run and Gorks makes a run, or is a man over. Kipio got a man over there. The delivery in was taught. Got a three on two on the far side of the penalty area there, Queen's Park Rangers. Well, they'll be tucking in, trying to leave that far man. Almost running out of bodies there. First corner of the game for Queen's Park Rangers. They lead it with the goal. They held Heide Helgerson in the opening 30 seconds. That's ahead of Way Smith. Goals for Queen's Park Rangers after joining them. It's nicely worked though, Jonathan. The way he just peels off there. Doesn't get over the header, but it's obviously a set piece that they work on. Never been prolific, has he, Tommy? But he, as you say, has weighed in with goals in important games. Towards Painter. scores from the championship on this last day important for clubs jostling for playoff positions the story today Queen's Park Rangers going up promoted champions confirmed about an hour before kickoff the FA decision though they found guilty of breaking two regulations no points deduction Derek blocked initially by Kilkenny but it breaks out to Smith. Here's Ratlich. Or Bushaki. Ratlich skipping away there. Oh, the head held us in misjudging yeah. the run. Rowley's just wants him to make that run, doesn't he, Halgerson? And he wants it to feed, just a miscommunication, but when Routledge comes central, again, it's very difficult to pick these players up for QPR. Here's Routledge in space to Helgerson. Dushaki's now gone away to the right-hand side. No misjudgment. We talked about teams jostling for playoff positions. Cardiff and Swansea are amongst those, and Swansea leading Sheffield United 1-0. If it stays like that, Cardiff losing at Burnley. Swansea will go above Cardiff in the table. Cardiff's automatic. Promotion hopes ended with that woeful home defeat by Middlesbrough the other night. Norwich and Queen's Park Rangers automatically promoted. Bradley Orr will take the throw. And Brian all the way back to his keeper. Naylor. Off the lead, centre halves in their 30s. Kilkenny in his mid 20s. Simon Grayson has got a good blend. McCormack. Johnson. I think he was an Arsenal junior, wasn't he, Bradley Johnson? I've got a funny feeling he was a kid there, but didn't. Ever make anything like the grey went on to Cambridge United and Northampton and that route forward. A funny feeling he trained at Arsenal uh, as a boy. Here's Kilkenny. Brian. Oh, a long way. Gets away with that, doesn't he? He very risky. Well, Kilkenny gives him the ball and Lenzer leaves him isolated. Nelson forward. 
looking for the run of Gradle. And that's bounced awkwardly off Hill. And if they, if they can get Gradle running at Hill, they've got an opportunity. They can. I think I said earlier, Gradle, when he comes into that central position, I don't think he realises how difficult it is for those big men in the middle particularly to pick him up. He is a box of tricks, and very sharp, and he can score goals when his confidence is there. Johnson in the middle, powerful in the air, Naylor's gone forward, O'Brien and Painter in the middle. Gradle and McCormack just now outside the penalty, Kupani's in there again as well. Out by Orr. Lehigh. Pops in the cross, Bradley Orr again. Looks like he has plenty of time. Smith. Routledge waited for the ball to come on, Kilkenny got in, Johnson, Lehigh, now Connolly. Great, and he's coming off the line, and he's infield again to Kilkenny. Lehigh getting forward. Marched off Connolly's head. Hill playing with that pain of the ankle problem. There's New Warren at the best man manager he's ever had. And around a bit Clint Hill. New Cup uh, finalist with Tranmere all those years ago. Years ago now, I think it was. Here's Naylor. Painter to Kilkenny. Getting lots of the ball leads, aren't they? But not really threatening at the moment as QPR rearguard. That's a lovely ball played though towards Gradley. Got in there! And it's 1 1. It was a lovely ball played forward by Naylor. Route one straight down the middle, and Gradle did come into the central position. Was difficult to deal with and makes it Queen's Park Rangers 1 leads 1. Yeah, we're just saying there lots of possession, nothing happening. Suddenly, ball from the back to the front from Naylor. Gradle, though, good movement off the ball. We talked about him going central. The keeper's got no chance from there. He's come flying off and really made his mind up for him. And that's what that boy can do when he's confident. And when he plays in a central position. Getting better all the time, he's only 23, Max Gradle. Can play as a second striker through the middle. Certainly took that well. Today, looking at the QPR defenders, he's the last thing they want to come up against. Because he's so small, he has that low sense of gravity, he's quick. And he can score goals, he punishes you. He's certainly done that there. All level. Before the goal, I was just going to ask you, Martin, because of what's happened this week to Queen's Park Rangers and the emotional drain you know, the effect it would have had on the players, will they tire more easily than they might have done? Yeah, I think they might. You know, there's without doubt there's a, there's a major strain on you. You know, they'd, they would have had a celebration last week and it would have been in no man's land, really, all, all, all of this week. Here come Leeds again, it's McCormack round the back, this time from a painter head down. Always stretching, always lightly to lift it over, given his body shape. Well, these are, it's that route one football from Leeds, and you're looking there and you're saying to the central defenders, you've really got to be winning those headers. It's a flick on, and in the end he should do a lot better with that. A decent scoring record at Cardiff, in the over a couple of years he was there. Scottish international. Great, all this time. Big chip by Hill, he was tugging Hill's shirt as well. Hill again. And Kenny had dropped back, that's awkward for Naylor to have to deal with. Handball. A word for Heide Helgerson, whose goal in the opening minute of play really just kicked up the party atmosphere at Loftus Road to an extra level. The Leeds 
best players, one or two of them, might have gone into it in end of season mood, but the manager's not like that. He wouldn't. He's not the sort of manager to accept that. Uh, an upwardly mobile manager in the game is Simon Grayson. No, well, this is a, 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 pl a club with a, a proud tradition, and they would want to get the right result today. You know, who wants to be a part of things for next season? You have to impress upon the manager that you're you're one of those. The referee, Kilkenny was fouled. He waited to see if he could get the advantage and couldn't. Brought it back. Free kick leads. And leads will point to that penalty shout they had, had that uh, went away. I think they've done enough to be leading this game. And the Queen's Park Rangers have fashion chances at the other end. Here's McCormick then to take the free kick. There's Painter, Johnson in there. Naylor's gone forward and O'Brien too. Dropped in short, Connolly's touch, it comes back out to Gradle, onto his left foot, scuffed it rather. Hill lifts it away. Ratledge missed, jumped, miss, uh, read the jump. And here's Gray. To take on Hill. Corbett put his eye on the ball. Wasn't fooled by the trickery. Gradle was fooled by the passage of the... Ball he was, he was, but you know, as I said already a couple of times, you know, get him in the middle. You know, that's where he wants to be on the shoulder of people. Let somebody else do that for him. He's going to score you the goals. Get him in the middle of the goal. Some of those fans were in eloquent mood beforehand, before the decision was taken today. One of them came up to me and said, "Do you believe in omens? Jimmy Ruffin was born 72 years ago today. What becomes of the broken-hearted?" Was his famous song. And he <laughs> said to me, "I think I'm going to leave here broken-hearted. Not the case." Well, not yet, anyway. Another today's result. It'll be a summer of buoyant op optimism for Queen's Park Rangers fans. Radle. Tight to the line. In a competitive first half. I can't remember the uh, physios coming on at all. Well, not much stoppage time, I wouldn't have thought. Connolly with the long throw in. O'Brien had gone forward. That's a corner kick. Came off Gorks. Leeds finishing the half on top. They're asking questions from these set pieces. Some really good service coming up. Naylor in there making that first run. It's gone beyond him. Nearly picked up by McCormack. Reached out by Connolly. That's a tall piece of control. Just kept in. Wasn't the best pieces. Best piece of uh, control by Cook Connolly. Here's Derry. Fall in. Gone quiet fall in after a bright start. Here he is. It's better. Helgerson. Very optimistic to shoot from there. And it was rising awkwardly. I think he was looking for the for the headlines there, wasn't he? Just gone off the boil a little bit, QPR. You know, you wonder the emotion of the day. And they've done it, it's in the bag to just enjoy themselves. This was the chance that came in the corner. Another one of those corners that they keep whipping in. It's, it's an area QPR will want to tighten up at the half-time. I'm sure Neil Warnock, you know, will desperately want to sign off the season with a win here, be getting into his players. Free kick to Leeds for the challenge by Hill on Gradle. And he's just becoming a little bit unnerved by Max Gradle. Again, it's just another long punt up the pitch, isn't it? You know, ill discipline. Gradle grabbing a free kick for his team, and they're going to have to defend it again. And the Ivory Coast born Gradle is beginning to cause problems. Johnson stands over this free kick. scored since he netted against Arsenal in the FA Cup. Leeds took Arsenal to two games. It'll be Johnson, Kilkenny is to the left, Gradle's there as well. It is Johnson, hit the wall, hit Sean Derry, I think. It may well have been Gorks. That's locked in behind, side netting only. Cormac's header, quick to react though, and at the moment Leeds are reacting the quickest. Well, McCormack's had a couple of chances, hasn't he? You know, when you look at it, 
Pen penalty appeal turned down. McCormack's two chances. You know, uh, difficult circumstances, I think, for QPR because you wonder how much they're really giving it the gun here. You know, they're just, you know, there's, there's a celebratory feeling about the match. And then it's hard to apply yourself, but that will be all put right, let me tell you, by Winnie Warnock at half time. Smith. Held it up well. Busaki. Down here with bright opening, but it's disappeared out of the game somewhat. Dwelt on a little bit too long, but he's drawn the challenge and won the free kick. Yeah, I think it's a free kick, but I'd like to have seen him use the ball earlier. Some great skill for him, though, great ability. How he gets past his men. And then I think he takes a little bit of a dive there, recognising he can't get to the ball. As he dwelt on the ball, though, Billy Painter made a great run in the centre-forward position. Yeah. It's Good. having that vision, isn't it, to see these runs. This will be the last attack of the half, I would think. Kilkenny with the free kick. Aimed in towards Johnson's head. O'Brien Rose comes back initially to Housen with the shot that was blocked, and that's half-time. Queen's Park Rangers confirmed as champions about an hour before kick-off. No points deduction from them. Went 1-0 up with Haider Helgerson in the opening 30 seconds, and the party really lifted off. But Leeds have worked their way back into the game commendably, and Gradle, outstanding on the right-hand side, equalised to make it 1-1 at half-time.